Hey there, today I'm going to show you how to draw Greninja from Pokemon. So let's start off with the head with the eye. So starting up here, we're going to start at the very top and just draw a circle. Going down to the bottom and then back up to the top again. Now from here I'm going to draw the upper eyelid in sort of an angle going down. So from starting from the left, I'm going to draw a straight line going towards the right. And here let's draw on the pupil and the iris. So I'm going to draw a smaller circle inside, just tucked in underneath that eyelid. And then let's draw that smaller circle in the center. Okay, so there's our eye. Let's get into the big head blades that come out of the, the head. So starting up here right beside the eye, we draw a curve going up to the top of the first uh, turn of the, uh, the blade. So right about here, I'm going to turn in towards that. So it's slightly straight, slightly bent. We're going to go up to the furthest point. So up here roughly, it's going to curve in the opposite direction. So starting at the top, Curve down towards that point there. Now we're going to take this point and curve all the way down towards just the bottom edge of the eye here. Start up here and curving down to the side here. So this is the edge of the face. Now we're going to work our way towards the tip of the face here. So now what I usually like to do is I usually like to use the eye to sort of help space out how far things are from each other. So with this eye, the tip of the nose is roughly about one and a half times wider out to the tip of the nose. So I'm going to start over here. I've got my finger on the tip of the face. So from here I want to draw a curve going to the tip right here. So I'll curve out like this and go up to the front here. Now from this point I'm going to draw the top edge of the head. So I'm going to bring it all the way back to where my thumb is here. So as you can see I always use my left hand to sort of measure out distances between one point to another. And you'll see me doing that throughout my whole drawing. Anyway, so from here, we're going to work our way to the back of the head. So curving in like so. Now from here, there's a little webbing that goes in from the back of the head towards the center part of this blade. So let's draw the webbing in first. So from this point, I'm just going to draw a curve like this. And I'm going to tuck this in underneath this first blade, like that. Okay? And then from here, on top of this eye, there's a little bit of a wedge that comes out of the eye. So it kind of sticks out. So from the top part of this head, or from this eye, I'll curve out. I'll start at the bottom of the eye and curve up and just connect there. And from this point, I'm going to draw a line that goes to the front of the face here. So let's start right by the eye and curve to the front of the face like that. Now from here, there's that center blade that comes up as well. So starting at the tip, we're going to work our way to the top. So curving a line that goes up like this. And we'll go all the way to the back. So right about here, I'm going to draw a curve that connects that. And then this point goes down behind this webbing. So that's why we drew the webbing first, so that we can tuck that up on top, like so. Now, for the back side, so we're going to draw this thing in the back here. So what we'll do is we'll start at the front, and I'm going to come up, like I did on this side, right about here. So I'll curve this in the same direction. So I have this curve going this way, I'll have to draw the other side going that way as well. Now for the top, this one curves down. I'm going to draw the same way for the back side. So right about here, we curve like that. And then the bottom edge, I'm going to take this side and just tuck this in behind that center blade there. Now we're going to have to draw a little bit of the back eye. So right back here, I'm just going to draw a little bulge like that. And then draw an angle. And then I'll draw sort of a half circle like that, just showing the, the eye in the background. Okay, now from here, I'm going to draw the tongue wrapped around the face. So we're going to draw sort of an overlap. So here, I'm going to start here and draw this wrapped around here. So starting up at the face here, I'm going to curve down and curve in the opposite direction and tucking this behind that face like that. Now to make it look like it's rolled over on each other, I'm going to draw the rest of the tongue behind here. So starting back here, I'll curve around and tuck this in underneath that front part of the, the tongue. Okay, so now we've got the head. Let's get into the rest of the body. So I'm going to draw the character sort of crouched down. So let's draw the front arm first. So this front arm, the upper part of the arm, is going to be straight to the elbow to the wrist. So start back here. So I'm imagining the shoulder here. I'm going to curve this towards the elbow. And then in the front here, I'm going to taper in so it gets wider at the top and tighter down at the elbow. And then I'm going to draw the wrist down here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little bit of an overlap. I'm going to draw a curve like this for the big forearm, another overlap here, and come down to where my finger is. Now I'm going to draw the big giant bubble. So 
is basically an oval right on the center of that forearm. And over on the top here, I'm just going to draw a little highlight, a little highlight circle like that. Now let's draw the fingers spread out. So there's three fingers, one on either side going left and right, and then one down the center. So let's start on the left side. So from here, I'm going to curve out. From here, I'm going to make the fingers wide, just to make sure I've got enough room. i go out this way. Now I'm going to make sure that the, the lines are at the same length here. So let's draw the fingertip. So it's basically a big pad. So from this point, I'm going to draw an oval, and, but I'm not going to close it off. I'm going to leave a little opening here. Same on the right side. Leave a little opening there. Now I'm going to have to draw the center finger here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start at the top, try to draw an oval about the same size as the others, but leaving a gap in the middle. So all I need to do is take this point here, go up to the top of the webbing, so right in the middle of the fingers, and then come back down to that point there. So going up, rounding up the top, and coming to that point. Over here I'm going to go up, and then just make my way to that point there. And then in between, I'm just going to draw a curve for the webbing. Okay, so we got the arm. Let's get into the one leg on this side. So this leg is going to be bent out like this. So here's the body. It'll go up to the knee, down to the ankle. So here, if I imagine the leg coming out this way, I'm going to have to draw the bubble in first because it's on top of everything else. So let's draw a big giant, sort of like a oval, sort of angled like this. And let's draw a highlight at the top. Now, the thigh is going to come up this way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start down here and curve this behind that arm. Now from here, I'm going to draw the bottom part of the thigh. So imagine the body coming this way. So right about here, I'm going to draw a curve going in behind that arm. Now I'm going to draw the calf. So the front end of the shin, starting right here, will curve in like this. And then here, now this is where I can draw the line coming down the bottom of the foot towards the toes. So there's two big toes. So back here, I'm going to curve down like so. Then on this side, I'm going to do an overlap and go on towards the other toe. So curving out like that. Now, like I did with the fingers, I'm going to draw the big round pad. So starting up here, I'm going to draw a big oval with an opening at the top. Here, I'm going to go in the opposite direction and draw that opening up at the top. And again, I'm going to connect these two points with a big curve. I'm going up and then down. Now I'm going to connect with a little bit of webbing going across like that. So there's a simple leg. Let's get on to the other side. So here I'm going to draw the other leg. Now, because he's crouched down, you're going to see more of the knee going down towards the ankle here. So again, like I did here, I'm going to move across and draw that bubble on this side. So let's draw that big giant oval. Going across like that. And draw a highlight oval on top. Now from here, I'm going to have to draw the, uh, the calf, so the shin going across. So here, here I'm going to imagine a line coming down to roughly about here. So I, I'm going to start here, going across behind that bubble, around like this, towards my finger. Let's draw the back side. So again, I'm going to come down to a point here. So I'm going to leave an opening, coming in like so. Now from here, I'm going to draw the spread towards the toe. So from this point, I'm going to curve out. And then this side, I'm going to curve out this way. Because the ankle sort of twisted around, so we're going to have to draw the toes coming out this way. So from this point, I'm going to draw that big oval, leaving that opening. On this side, I'm going to draw another big oval, leaving that opening there. And again, I'm going to connect these two points with a curve that goes up, like so and then connecting in between with a little bit of webbing. So a little curve that goes across there. Now let's draw in the side of the body. So here, here's the head. I'm gonna have to draw the body coming down. So right about here, I'm gonna draw a curve going in towards that leg. Let's draw the bottom part of the torso. So here, let's draw a curve like that. Now there's a little bit of a hook that comes up from underneath. So here, I'm gonna curve up in one direction. This side, I'm gonna curve and tuck this in right underneath the body there. And for a little bit of belly detail, there's a big yellow patch under here. So I'm gonna come around behind that hook and go up like so. And if you wanna add a little bit of detail, I'm just gonna draw a little wrinkle like that. Now let's get into the final arm. So the arm's gonna come up this way. So I'm gonna have the upper part of the arm going to the forearm to the hand. So let's draw that arm just like I did here. So I'll start right about here, 
I'm going to go out. And then again, like I started a little bit thicker at the shoulder, going thinner towards the elbow. So I'll do the same thing here. So going towards the elbow. Now I'm going to have to draw the big chunky forearm. So at the bottom here, I'm going to curve around like so. And then on the top, because this arm is turned this way, I'm going to have to draw that bubble first. So start up here, draw a big oval like so, and then draw a little highlight at the top corner. On this side, I'm just going to tuck this in underneath that bubble. Imagine this coming down right about here. And with the fingers, I'm just going to basically have three fingers going out like this. So on this side, curve out like this. This side, I'm going to curve up. And like I did with these fingers, I'm going to have to draw that little oval pad. So one finger there. I'm going to draw one finger here with a little opening. And then I'm going to go towards the middle and draw one oval with an opening in the center. And again, connecting these points with straight curves going into them. And in between, I'm going to draw the webbing. So I'm just kind of going like this. The final part is this tongue wrapped around his head. It's going to come in from behind. So what I want to do is imagine this line going across behind his back. So I'm just going to curve around like this. Okay? So it's kind of like a whip. comes around. And the tongue is very thick at the end, but it's going to come in and taper out as I get towards the head. So from here, I'm just going to round up the tip of the tongue, and then just follow this line and the shape going back in towards the head. And that's pretty much it. There we have it. There's Greninja from Pokemon. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Please give us a like and share this with your friends. I have a whole Pokemon playlist, a ton of characters in there. I'll be adding more every week. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.